uh, they call me the cosmic cheerleader. Let's get the ego out of the way first. Uh, I was raised in Venice, California as a very poor child. Uh, ended up owning most of Venice down the road uh, in real estate. Uh, then um, I think some of you have seen uh, the Payless shoe stores. Uh, family started uh, Payless Shoes and we became the largest shoe chain in the United States. Uh, did a lot of construction, owned about 20 different companies. Uh, literally, uh, uh, people ask me, had, you know, I always wanted to be doing movies or communication. And they said, hey, would you like to do a movie? I said, yeah, what's it about? Beethoven. The dog? No. Da 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 da. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I looked at him and I said, what does it take to win an Academy Award? They looked at me like, you're crazy. It's not going to happen. I said, eh. I got the money, let's try it. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I won every single award possible. Uh, Golden Eagle Award for Best Short Film of 86, 87. All the awards, including Spielberg's, and ended up winning the Academy Award Television Arts First Place Music Video. <clears throat> then uh, I looked in the paper a couple days ago and saw I'm nominated for another Academy Award uh, a couple days ago, and didn't even do the movie. It's actually all about me where I can talk to people on the other side that have passed away. I have this ability, the doctors say, like an MRI machine to literally read your energy. I can uh, do things that I have no clue how I do it. How I think I do it is in different dimensions on floor 10 is heaven, you know, based on my sixth grade level and I think I'm still like 12 years old inside. And I go up into the heaven to the Akashic Records, the library, I see the librarian, I say, where's the little dragon with the red bow tie? I run down, take a chocolate chip cook to him, chocolate chip cookie, only one, and I give him the cookie, and I ask him, can I look at my book, the next chapter? And all of a sudden, I know things that I don't know how I know. So what I do is literally bring the information from these different dimensions. Now, what's a dimension? Dimensions are like a television station. Channel one, channel three, channel five, channel 12, okay? The dinosaurs, when they were here, were vibrating on the first dimension, three heartbeats. When they abused the planet, like we're doing right now, the planet flipped its axis, all of a sudden, dimension two, the Atlanteans, Lumerians, Mews, they were here. Very advanced beings. Probably all of us in the room were in one of these dimensions with the dinosaurs or the Atlanteans and healers and, and incredible people. Uh, when we abused the system, we came to the third dimension. Eight heartbeats. Eight heartbeats that we were beating at. A few years back, all of a sudden things started to change in our lives and we move from the third dimension to the fourth, and I'll bet you everyone in this room night, right now is in the fifth dimension, vibrating at 21 heartbeats off the core of the planet. The dinosaurs three, Atlanteans five, we were eight, then went to uh, 13, and we are now 21 heartbeats off the core of the planet, which means we're in the fifth dimension, but we're sharing the space with all these people around the planet that literally are still on the third dimension and we're on the fifth. If you look in people's eyes, most of the people, even your closest family, friends, look in their eyes and you go, nobody's there. They're not there. How many, how many have seen people around them that are not there? Exactly. You're better off talking to this brick wall than literally trying to communicate with your own family or your own friends. And you know what? You don't need to, okay? Each of us has, I believe, almost the same destiny, which statistically is not possible. Something's going on that's brought us together at this moment in time. I don't usually go out and, and do speeches like this. I mean, I'm on television uh, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, I was on the Housewives of Miami, doing what I'm about to do with you guys. Read their colors, talk to people on the other side. Anything that you wanna know, I somehow can give you the answer. I don't know how I do it, but 
Somehow I'm able to give you the answer. Okay, so then after doing real estate and all of this, I was eating some burritos and next thing I know, I'm looking at license plates on cars and I have the cure to cancer. I have the knowing things that just don't know, I have to know, you know, I knew. People from NASA came out, uh, interviewed me about hyperspace. They go, what do you know about hyperspace? I have no clue. They looked at me going, it's all classified information, but whatever you just told us, you have, you have a gift that we can't understand. Literally, I then became a total quadriplegic. I fell off a little motorbike, one of these little three-wheeler ATCs that they use in the desert. I'm the one that spoke before Congress and got the bikes banned out of the country where you could only bring the four-wheelers in. They're still safe, but you know, I needed tri uh, tricycles because I'm only 12 years old inside. So literally, I became a total quadriplegic and the doctors said I'd never walk or move ever again. I told the doctors in 60 days, I'm walking. They told my parents, it doesn't look good. We've never seen anybody come back from being extensive uh, C4, 5, 6, and 7 total quad. It's not going to happen. My parents told the doctors, if the little kid says he's going to come back, don't bet against him. We don't know how he does it. Okay? You know? My mom keeps thinking that she might have dropped me on the head as a child and maybe this is where all this information came <laughs> I, I was just about to tell you. I had a little nurse from China, Yum Yum, that walked into the room in, in, in uh, Palm Springs and says, I have no clue why I'm here, but my family used to heal in China with colors. So, but she didn't know anything about it. So, um, you know, Nothing from the neck down. I figured, eh, I got time on my hands. <laughs> I think I'll look at the wall and, oh, I see some red. Head into my head, and with a tingly feeling, moved it down the spinal column, back and forth past the C4, 5, 6, and 7 injury. Within a day, I started to get a finger back, and then a wrist, and then an arm, oh, and then literally today, where I still can't open my fingers. I have no feeling from one side of the body down. I can't tell hot or cold, but it's really a plus because if I need extra money, I can stand on hot coals on one side and collect people's money until I start smelling I'm burning, okay? The right side, I'm really slow, so if it gets too cold and you see me in a cross rock, try to go around me, okay? Because I don't move fast. So literally, I, I healed myself. I've been, I, up to this last year, I was uh, president of Northridge Hospital, the rehab center, big hospital guild that I created, TGI care, um, and, uh, for 25 years. And I'd go in and talk to people and explain, you know, how to get well. But again, it cost me no money. It was free. The information of all of you is free. So, uh, met, uh, we had, we're going to have a guest speaker tonight, uh, she got sick, uh, Dr. Ann Cates, incredible woman, and she is an expert in colors. And when you realize that everything in the universe is really color, sound, and consciousness. How many have seen the movie Back to the Future where the cars levitate and fly? Did you see that movie? Yeah. I own the, uh, I, I don't own the technology. I'm a guardian of the technology, very much like the kombucha mushroom. I am the kind of the little kid of the guardianship of the kombucha mushroom for the last 25 years. Do you know what the kombucha mushroom is? Have you seen the kombucha? Okay. Kombucha mushroom is a lichen vinegar plant that's been around for about 12,000 years. And it, it has all these properties of all the B vitamins, folic acids, glucuronic acids, literally it helps three things. Energy level go up, skin get better, but third and most important thing, your digestive system works. For 25 years, I've been giving this tea free worldwide to people with cancer, AIDS, MS, every single disease. I have millions of these mushrooms in 33 foreign countries. I've never taken a dime. All the people are getting well. I was uh, put it in the AIDS community in New York and LA about 19 years ago, six months later, front page LA Times, New York Times, 50% reduction in AIDS deaths. That was me. 
but they were getting $16,000 to $22,000 per person. They don't want to hear about me. Even when I was president of Northridge Hospital, I said, look, cancer, <laughs> real simple. Get the pH level like a swimming pool back to balance. You cannot have cancer if your pH level is at balance. Now they're spending how many billions of dollars a year to find this out? <laughs> is there something going on? Maybe it's the money, okay? Could it be the money? I think maybe it could be. But, um, you know, it's kind of crazy. Um, let's go back with the colors, okay? I want to explain the colors. The top of the head, purple. I'm going to keep it real simple. Purple, spiritual. Indigo, third eye, intuitive. Throat, blue, communication. Green, heart, love issues. Yellow, breast area, fear or self-confidence. Orange, digestive system, or red, grounding or sexual. All of you vibrate exactly at this level. Animals vibrate at this level. Trees, everything that exists, literally vibrate at this level. It's all about color, sound, and consciousness. Having this guardianship of the atom itself. My partner was on Albert Einstein's father's side. United Airlines helped me get the Pioneer patent. We've actually duplicated the path of the atom. I've had this technology for over 30 years. But if I'm a threat to the pharmaceutical companies, do you think the oil company's gonna get a little kid like me from Venice to move cars, boats, and airplanes with no fuel? It's not gonna happen. Unless we get almost some kind of divine intervention coming in, okay? And I believe our path is somehow tied into this divine intervention or destiny. Your destiny is probably the same as mine, and it's really simple. Communicating the truth to the people in whatever our specialities are, not that anybody has to listen to what we say, but if they want to take responsibility, they can make a difference. These previous speakers are all about this, communicating the truth in their speciality for us to listen or not listen, okay? How do you solve the problem? You know, it's, it can be a big meditation or whatever people, you know, they ask me, okay, I got these problems, what do I do? I said, look, the easiest way is take your shoe off, get a big hammer, and just before you hit your toe really hard, you need to chill, relax, and go with the flow. You gotta let go, okay? How many, okay, about, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, how many of you would stand up for a moment and be dizzy? Were you having any kind of dizziness? Okay, the whales and dolphins all over the world were beaching themselves. It's a magnetic frequency change at the core of the planet. Uh, the pulling of the oil out of the ground, burning off the fossil fuels in the cars, boats, and airplanes. Literally, the sunlight's coming in, melting the North and the South Pole. On your tire, on your car, you have a little weight that keeps the tire balanced. These giant icebergs are literally keeping the planet balanced. But because they're off, the planet's wobbling, the planet's wobbling. Uh, we used to have, 20 years ago, six earthquakes in one year at 6.0 and higher. Last year, we had 134 earthquakes above six on the Richter scale, almost one every two days. The planet's wobbling, it's getting worse. Mother Nature's about to give the people a very bad hair day. So, again, that's in the third dimension. We're in the fifth. We have, it's all about the children. I see two classifications in people now. One, 21 years and under on your soul piece. You could be 95 years old, but you're vibrating at, at uh, 21 or younger. I'm vibrating at 12. I used to be able to see people at 40, 50, 60 years old. I'm now worried, but I'm only seeing them at 105. So now we've got two separations that I see in this dimension. I think what's about to happen is a separation of the dimension of the third from the fourth and the fifth. The Mayans, they couldn't see the next day, so they said, well, the calendar runs out, the world must end. But as we see, <laughs> we're still here. I'm not having lunch with the Mayans anymore, but literally, we're still here. 
But I think they're correct. It's a, it's a change of consciousness. It's literally a conscious change that's going on. And that's what we're in right now. How many of you uh, in this last year have had this heaviness on the chest area, tightness in the neck, and one breath at a time? Have you, have you gone through that? Okay. All over the world, people are having an anxiety attack. That is strictly an anxiety attack only for conscious people. Okay. What's happening is that I believe a program on one of these other dimensions, very high, is basically telling us you have to let go of the past, you have to let go of the future, and you have to, like you mentioned and you mentioned, and our other speakers mentioned, you have to be in the now. It's a zero tolerance for anything other than being in the now. And I want to say it again, you have to be in the now right now. You don't have to, but if you get down to one breath at a time, nothing means anything. All, you can have all the money in the world, all the happiness. When you're down to one breath, it's not a fun experience. And this is happening. Even worse than that, I'm seeing, is all of a sudden around the world, I'm getting five to ten calls a day of people saying, you know, my husband, I'm looking in his eyes and he's like, he's, an, he's a different person. Or, all of a sudden, uh, my friends have just come down with all this cancer, MS, all these diseases. They were totally healthy out of the blue. So I started to check with my little pendulum, which I'll show you what I can do. And I was seeing spirits, entities, that were jumping into people's bodies. People, animals, uh, furniture. All of a sudden, we saw uh, four months ago, the director, Tony Scott, had brain cancer. He committed suicide, jumped off the bridge, and when they did the autopsy, no cancer at all. Now, how's that possible? It's a spirit. One of my neighbors um, said, hey, I have this 43-year-old friend with four kids. They, she has 90% brain cancer. They told her to go home and die. I read her colors, and I go, wait a minute. She's totally well. I see this spirit on her. Literally, I say, E A E A O O A E E A A E E A O O O. If there's an entity in her body, it's a no parking, no loitering zone. Need to leave her body, go to the light, go to source, go to God. So I'm singing this on the driveway. The lady's not even there, and I tell my friend, tell the girl to go back to the doctor and see the doctor. She goes back, no cancer at all totally gone. Her family came in for Dubai to my house. They're hugging me, their whole family. You know, they're going, you saved our daughter's life. I do this every day. It's no big deal, okay? You know, it's, but everything that I can do, you can do. Everybody on this planet has the same ability. It just is, I spend more time working on my tan than most people and don't have to worry about the money so I can somehow get these rays of sunlight coming in that are probably, you know, doing something that I have no clue what it is. So I want to show you how I do this is for years I couldn't do a pendulum. Anne taught me how to do a pendulum. And back and forth is balance. I say, I'd like to play the pendulum game to the right is yes. See how it's starting to turn to the right or circle to the right? Thank you. Back to the center. No. It goes to the left, okay? So then, like an MRI machine, we'll take uh, top of the head, purple, indigo. It's saying no, so she's not missing the color. Blue, green, uh-uh, it turned to the right. So she's missing the green. Yellow, no. Orange, no. Red, no. So she was missing the green. So that means there's some kind of love issue going on. Okay? So then I asked, is it family? No. Friend? Ah, oh, it could be a friend. Oh, oh, it's starting to turn you to the yes. Uh, work? No. Are you being too hard on yourself and your patience is getting thin? Yes. Okay? So again, you need to chill, relax, go with the flow. So how we balance you out is just E A E A O O double the schmoo. Okay. Now, 
I, I, I do this, you know, every day. You know, I, I go into the house and I talk to my the kombucha mushrooms. I have them in a, their own sauna. I mean, it's a rough life that they live. Okay? And for, for the last... For the last uh, 25 years, I sing all these songs to these mushrooms, okay, or lichen vinegar plants. But it's it's not what you sing. This song isn't the the song that is is the Bible. It's literally the intent that comes from each one of us. You could sing Huckleberry Finn, you know, and and, and heal somebody. Uh, the water uh, down the coast. Of California it was all 15, 19 years ago, all broken. Okay. No money, no publicity. Okay. I have the ability to talk to the water and go, okay. E A E A O O. A E A O O. Tell, I charged this water. I took it out of Marina Del Rey. I used to lifeguard in Santa Monica Beach at Sand and Sea Beach Club for 15 years until they found out I couldn't swim. One little class, okay, I can't, I can't believe it, you know. But it was great out there. I'd drive my Rolls Royce down and collect $4 an hour and all the members were going, how do we get a lifeguard job? Okay. Norma, where did you learn this? A-E-I-O-U. When I first did the kombucha mushrooms, the first day I went in and I started e a e a o u a I have no idea. Then people on television were going, excuse me, did you see Spiel Steven Spielberg's movie, Encounters of the Close Kind? I go, no, why? They go, when the aliens came down, the computer's going, exactly the same thing. I never had seen it before. Okay, and this is what I communicate to the water. Well. After I told my parents, look, I just charged this water from Marina Del Rey. It's totally polluted. I put the water and I said, I want you to go down to our yacht in San Diego. Every so many miles you dump water and I'm going to Santa Barbara. You know, they lock people up for a lot less, okay? They put them away. 30 days later, front page LA Times and Evening Outlook. We don't know what just happened. But the whole Bay of Santa Monica from San Diego to Santa Barbara just went from F rated to A. 30 days later it was A plus. Okay. Literally, the water started to turn. I've been doing it now in the Colorado River. They're freaking out over there for the last 19 years why they haven't closed the beach down. I just sent uh, this information in a bottle, which I call Calm Be Calm which I bought, brought a few bottles for a number of you here today. It's, I invented this for the stress and anxiety when I was having the same thing as you were having, this uh, tightness in the neck one breath at a time. Uh, it's B vitamins, a rose from my garden, garlic to chase the bad people away from you, ginger to bring the sweet people in, a vitamin called GABA that goes to the brain to put you out of flight and fear, 12 essential oils plus my kombucha tea and the E -E All I do is we take it, we rub a little on our, anywhere's on our body, and literally it starts to rebalance. The kombucha tea, zero to 10, 10 being God for us. This little bottle's vibrating at 14, okay? Uh, we've taken water, you put it next to your water off out of the tap, that's 2% life for us. 30 seconds later, I'm measuring it at 97.5. How many of you drink wine? I don't, but uh, one of my friends in Santa Barbara has a big winery. I send up a few bottles. He puts it next to his wine. He wins first place in all of California for the best wine. This year, he entered the world contest, and he was number 10 in the, within the top 10 in the whole world. It's incredible. Okay, but what I do now is we take the bottles and we just send it to the Galapagos Island and off to Japan, to Israel, all over the world. And they're taking the bottle and just dropping it into the water. And the frequency coming out is rebalancing the water. Again, it's all about consciousness, sound, and color. Okay? And I, when I was on the show, the Miami Housewives, all the water in the intercoastal water was uh, brown and not that cool. It's now blue-green and, and uh, perfectly turquoise, okay? So let's, let's real quick, I've got uh, only a few minutes left, uh, I wanna read 
Well, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I think you're going to ask for something. Oh, oh no. Uh, let's just take a few people. Actually, let me ask, uh, how's the breathing? Can, Good. It, it's, he had said 40 years he had a problem with the breathing. Yeah. I saw an entity on his body, got the, bo uh, the entity out, and he says he can breathe better. Yeah. Cost him no money. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's come on up. A uh, purple. Indigo. Blue. A little bit of green. Red. So, a little bit of a love issue, a little bit of worry. Tummy's a little bit down today and need to be a little more grounded. You're running around a lot. Family, friend, work, too hard on yourself. It's interesting. You almost feel like something's about to happen, but you have no clue what it is. Okay. Seven, kidney 10, liver 10, heart 10, brain 10, upper intestine 10, lower intestine 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, you ate something that's still stuck in your lower intestine that you shouldn't have eaten this last day. It'll come that's out. Right. And, yeah, it'll, it'll be out. You'll be fine. <laughs> Conscious level nines, nine, seven, eight, nine. You really care about people. All I would bet you that the mo the room here, all of you have been. How many of you have been waking up at one, three, or five in the morning this last uh, number of years? Almost one, three, or five in the morning. And now it's been like two forty-five. Literally, only conscious people on the planet are waking up at that time. We are being downloaded like a computer with all this phenomenal information you're about to use any moment. Okay? So, you just have to let go, go with the flow, E-A-E-A-O-O, -O. you're going to be fine. Okay? Uh, literally, uh, as this comes down, this information, just Go with the flow. Stay in the moment. You have to be in the moment. I'm telling you, if, if your life has been stalled since August of 1998, you've had to learn major patience, compassion for other people, and it's been this ultimate test of who your real friends and real family are. And I would say all of the people in this room are real family. And that it's all about the children. We're about to become a guardian of the children, and the planet. So leaving you, tell me if your fingers feel tingly. E, E, A, E, E, A, A, E, E, A, A, E, E, A, O, O, O. Double the schmoo to all of you. Thank you.